today we'll be prepare, uh, presenting on comparatives and using as, adjective as, to, um, to compare two different things. So there'll be five rules that we'll be looking at. The first rule is that it can be used to compare nouns. For example, we look at this uh, picture right here. On the lower right corner, we can see that he is as tall as a tree. He is as tall as a tree. What it basically means is he's the same height as the tree. Um, here we have a noun one, he. We have the be verb. And we have as adjective as. Our adjective here is tall. So as tall as. And the noun two is tree. Okay, and what this means is he's just the same height. He is as tall as a tree. The noun two is that if we want to add not, we have to add not before as adjective as to show that two nouns are not familiar. Um, for example, here we have um, a father and his son. So we can write he is not as tall as his son. Okay, and what this basically means is that, um, you know, noun one, he, the father, is be verb not negation. Okay, negation comes before, at, before as tall as. Okay, again, our adjective is tall, as tall as his son, noun two. Um, and what this basically means is that he is shorter than his son. Okay, not the same height, he is shorter than his son. Okay, doesn't mean he's taller, it means he's shorter than his son. So he's not as tall. Okay, next, um, and then use not as tall as instead of less with short adjectives and adverbs. Um, let's move on. It, rule three is that it, we can use as tall as to sh to can be used to show that two nouns do something the same way. Um, so here we have a father and here we uh, here we have a father and a son and they are both working and it appears that they both work equally as hard. So we can say that um, he works as hard as his father it means that he works to the same um, puts the same effort as his father. OK, so. Um, we're using it to compare the work, the verb. They're doing this verb the same way, okay? So he works as hard as his father. The adjective is hard. And that means that he does the same amount of work as his father or he puts as much effort, you know, as his father. So um, let's move on. So in other words here, what I'm showing is that it can be used to show that two nouns do something the same way. Here is, they both work hard, okay? They both do something, work the same way, hard. Good. Moving on. Uh, if I want to negate the verb to show that two nouns do not do something the same way, then I would use not, again. And again, we have to negate the verb. So did not, do not, okay? Um, and it has to come before the verb, okay? So he did not study as hard as her. You know, see, he's got a B plus. But she has an A, okay? So he did not study as hard as her. Um, again, noun one, he, negation, do not, did not, studies the verb, and as hard as her, okay? Adjective, hard. And noun two, her. Um, and the meaning is that he studied less than she did, okay? So what I'm trying to show here is that if I want to show that two to uh, nouns do not do something the same way. I have to negate the verb. What does negate the verb mean? I mean, do not, did not, do not study, did not study, has not study. Moving on. Um, okay, so uh, what can, what kind, what can follow as adjective as? Okay, well, as adjective as can be followed by a subject, pronoun, plus a verb. For example, he did not study as hard as she did. My subject pronoun, she, my verb, studied. Um, it can also be followed by a subject pronoun and an auxiliary. For example, he did not study as hard as she did. Okay, again, subject pronoun, she, and my auxiliary, do, past tense, did. It could also be followed by a noun. For example, he did not study as hard as Sally. Noun is Sally. And it is also, maybe also followed by the object pronoun. So he did not study as hard as her. All of these are correct. Um, if we're looking at levels of formality, which is used when speaking, which are used when writing formally. When writing formally, 
when speaking, um, we will use the object pronoun. It's short, it's quick, to the point. Usually speaking has is uh, easier, so it's short and quicker. Whereas writing, especially formal writing, tends to be more complete. So we will have the subject pronoun plus verb, she studied, subject pronoun plus auxiliary, she did, or the complete noun, the proper noun, Sally. Okay, these are more for formal writing. Um, so use object pronouns when talking, use nouns, subject pronouns, verb plus verbs, or subject pronouns plus auxiliaries when writing. Okay, um, just to quickly conclude and summarize, we use as adjective as to compare to nouns. For example, he is as tall as a tree. If we want to negate, if we want to say that they're not the same, then we add not before as adjective as to show that they're not similar. So for example, he is not as tall as his son. We can also use as adjective as to show that two nouns do something the same way. Okay. Um, he works as hard as his father. Okay. He, both his father, he and his father work equally hard. He works as hard as his father. If I want to show that two nouns do not do something the same way, then I negate the verb. How do I negate the verb? I add do not, did not, has not, have not. Here, he did not study as hard as me. And if I want to, um, oh, also most importantly, when we are speaking, we only use object pronouns, him, her, it, them, us, and me. He did not study as hard as her. This concludes my presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts or concerns, please email me and I look forward to seeing you in class.